Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Eye YouTube channel and it is time for one of my favorite videos of the month, my collaborator showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see what everyone created this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. You all know that I love to stop by each month and show you what my collaborators created as their first sets using the sheet load of cards. For May 2021, I have a little secret to let you in on. So when I designed this, I know I had mentioned it before, but I started with how I wanted to cut the six by six paper in order to make my sketch. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I was not that crazy about my sketch after I made it, but I was already like a day late getting the printable out to my design team, so I just went with it. Now here's another secret. When I started seeing the cards come into our shared folder that my team had made, I fell in love with this sketch. I am just amazed at how each of these artists took this sketch, made it their own, and made me fall in love with it that it might be one of my favorites now. If you haven't yet downloaded the May 2021 sheet load of cards or saw how I made my first set, I will have those videos linked in the description box below. Speaking of my first set, if you did watch that process video or the intro for the month, you know that I used a fun Mr. Rogers theme stamp set for my cards this month. And Laura, the owner of the Ink Road Stamps, gave me a $100 store credit to give away. Now that giveaway is closed, but I will be back tomorrow to announce the winner. So make sure that if you put your name in for that drawing that you check back. Before I get to the collaborator cards for this month, I do have a couple things to share with you. First of all, if you haven't seen it yet, over the weekend my sister and I did my first live video in the Oh So Inspired series and I know I was super nervous while we were live and I couldn't really pay attention to what was going on, but I did rewatch it after and I had a lot of fun reliving it. So if you haven't seen that yet, I hope you'll go check it out. We tell fun stories about growing up and you'll get to see a picture of me when I was a senior in high school. I will also link that video in the description box below. My second thing is I have a special channel member shout out. I would like to say a great big thank you and welcome to channel membership to my latest paper trimmer level member, MT142, AKA D. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's see what the collaboration team did with the May 2021 sheet load of cards. I'm going to switch up the showcase a little this month by starting with our Instagram team. And that's because Stacy, aka at Craftaholic Mama on Instagram, created the set that was featured in this month's thumbnail. I just love the bright fun colors of Stacy's set and those big bold florals. Next up is at Lizzie's Happy Mail and I really just enjoyed the calm cool colors of her cards and after seeing them I definitely want to go relax on a beach somewhere. Scrapbook Girl created some fun birthday cards with little fire breathing dragons. I just of course love the image and how she has done some cloud stenciling on the background of that fishtail tag. Mariah of Fuzzy Slipper Designs created these beautiful soft floral cards. I especially like how on some of them she has added a bit of twine. 
And last but not least on the Instagram team is Deneen03. These fun cards would definitely make me smile if I received one in the mail. Now let's find out what the blog team created in May. First up is Airborne Wife Stamping, aka Pam, and she has created a set of six cards. Not only are the colors beautiful, but I am loving those butterflies. And finally on the blog team is Sandy from Stamp with Sandy. For her set of cards this month, she chose to leave off the cardstock behind the pattern paper and she left those top two corners on her fishtail banner squared off. I just love how she made it her own and made some changes that fit her cards. And finally, let's look at the YouTube team's creations. First up is Karen Aiken, and for her cards this month, she actually used some die cut tags in place of the sentiment one that I had on the sketch. This is a great way to get out some of those dies we might have been neglecting, or to use up pre-made tags that might already be in our stash. Creative Chelsea has also made some changes to the sketch. She pulled her image slash sentiment piece to the front of the card and moved it over to the left so her penguins could be on full display. Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts used the May layout to create these six graduation cards. I just love how classy it looks with the black and white and then those touches of metallic gold. Teresa created these next six cards, and I really like how instead of doing the fishtail on the bottom of the sentiment piece, she used a different fun shape. Amalia has created six thank you cards using the latest sketch, and if you don't follow her videos for sheet load, you should. She tries to use up one paper pad until it's completely done with different sheet loads. It's so fun to see how the same papers look completely different from month to month. Melissa of Mel's Card Corner created six birthday cards with the May sheet load. I am loving the florals and the soft color palette on these cards. And last but certainly not least are the cards that Debbie of Project 39 mini albums created. She has used various occasions here for her cards, but one thing they all have in common is the feather that has been stamped and heat embossed on the mulberry paper. And because you can tear that mulberry to make it look feathery, it was perfect for those. Wasn't that an inspiring showcase? Once again, thank you to my team. You all make me look so good every month. Now, if you would like to see more details on any of those cards, I do have everybody's YouTube channels, blogs, and Instagram accounts linked in that description box below. I know that they would love you to stop by, see their work, and leave them some love. And Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.